I'll come back to it, Bill, in a second. Let me just finish because I already recorded the uh, Aussie uh, the Aussie dollar. As I told you in the introduction, this on the intraday, this is a basically a, we ha we do have a minor. I said I'm going to fix it, Richard. Okay, just give me a minute. I made a mistake. Uh, sometimes I, I transpose numbers. I have. Uh, it should be 79.64. This is, as I said, a weak sell signal. So I'm not really looking to be selling the Aussie dollar right now if anything I'll be looking to be buying it but my buy signal here is a little bit we are in a tricky situation when it comes to the Aussie dollar you see this point here 93.98 this has been a historical structural point and you can see when it broke below it over here, it took us all the way down to the 55. <coughs> and it has been stopped over here once, twice. And this is the third time that the Aussie dollar had problems at or around the 93, 98 or the 94 handle, if you will. Now we are closed below. We traded above the 93... 98 we failed to hold above it and we closed the week at 9360 that is not as I said an encouraging signal for me to immediately jump in and buy the Aussie so I will buy the Australian dollar only if what shady Fellow Shade, when will we buy the Australian dollar? Right above 98, above 93, 98. We are not going to exactly, no, 93, 93, exactly, Shady. Brilliant. So, we are now, we got 28 pips away from or 38 pips away from my entry which is brilliant so I'm going I'm going to show and you can see how if I put the intraday chart guys you can see now how beautifully it lines up the chart beautifully lines up this is right here it is your prior momentum high of the day before and it's right there the 93.95 the nine, right there this is your buy signal if it gets above here and it's lining up beautifully the, the structure of the chart is you can see these are your two momentum highs this is your structure point it is it is just falling so much in place it makes a lot of sense it, it just structurally like a good architectural building it is set up very well so we're going to buy it above there we're not going to bother with it because below the 93 90, 98 we want to be sellers but we are going now if I'm going to look at this chart where will I start shorting it well I can start shorting it from these two momentum lows right there which is the 9330 so my short point is going to be the 93 zero right and if I'm short below 9330 I'm going to put my stop right above 93 in this case the 62 and if I go long above the 9389 I'm sorry 9398 <coughs> then my stop is going to be right below the 93.98 because it is such a, an important point and it is also my structure long 
the 9398 and my structure short is still the 8945 this is the structure short as is I'm going to leave it as the same so this is the Aussie dollar we're going to go long above 9398 and if I do go above 9398 my stop is right there below it just 10 pips or 15 pips below it it is also my structure long if I go short I'm going to go short only below 9330 and if I do I'm placing my stop above 9362 my structure short is the 8945 all right that's the Aussie 